Right, hello everyone. Well, here we are back at what I call the Shoreham Racetrack. And you right, might remember from uh, a few issues ago that all of a sudden the gaps in the trees that I was using as my Shoreham Racetrack suddenly had bushes put in nearly every single opening. And I made a video uh, on the Pocket Rocket from V-Sky Labs that was about the racetrack and then next time I went back there just about here coming up to the green dome suddenly there were trees now this was obviously either an Orbix update or a Laminar update but it was on every single opening so I'm pleased to say it's open again now we've got the MD500 here got the new uh, cockpit um, bezels and everything installed they look just great so it's very good to have one place that you test a helicopter at and you know how they perform so it's really good to get back here um, the MD500 put the nose down keep it low go for the gap between the dome and the bushes here and then throw a very sharp left head between these two trees down look for the opening there leading to this sandy area keep it going then head out to the open field and somewhere on the left hand side you'll notice three trees I use that as my reference point to start turning left for an opening on the right hand side of a path now you hit the opening you can see the path there on the left the shady or lighter area and then a hard bank turn throw it over plenty of left pedal and if you're lucky you can see it here if down we go through now because they've opened up the bushes there's a new area you can go through so here's another drop down in between the bushes bang onto the runway fast as you can keep it going I should point out I've done a VR version of this at the end of the video for those that like the VR versions um, but I want you to see the dials and everything and see just how good they look and they look fantastic I'll put a, um, a link in the uh, notes below although I'm sure you'll all be able to find them on xplane.org so here we are outside view nice and low through the bushes past the dome sharp left Yeah, the MD does tend to nose up at speed. I did have an awful lot of trouble doing this video. I also had a download for DCS going in the background that I hadn't realised at the time, which didn't help. So the sound might chop a bit or it might be a bit jerkier than usual. So we fly out, we look for those three trees on the left, we bank it over. Just on the left hand side of the path there's a gap we go through this gap and then we do a bank over looking for the gap in between the path the path is a lighter shade you'll see as we come through and now sharp right follow the sandy area and to the new part because it wasn't open before through this small gap back onto the runway nose down as fast as you can um, I don't know if they did take note of my video where I was saying about what have they done why have they done it but if anyone was taking note of it and listening uh, thank you so much for taking the bushes away so we bring it here down to the end of the runway normally bank it round just on the left hand side of the uh, shed there and then we bring it in now I should apologize as well to Sergio and helisimmer.com I forgot to change delivery we have an all black helicopter today uh, still looks good and um, everyone's buoyant about this MD500 
there's a lot of communication going on about um, you know getting all the mods put in on one page so we all know where we're at sounds brilliant so here we are in VR mode hammering it down the uh, runway as usual I'll apologize for the shakiness of the head movement that's to do with the disorder I've got and a little bit shaky on the hands doesn't help in VR and also occasionally my mouse appears which I forgot to switch off so apologies for that as well so here we go we go through you realize how sharp a bank this is really sharp bank left turn look for those little trees drop down head for the big opening in the big trees then full bore slightly to the right sandy area there's the male superior and I do apologize then we're looking for a group of three trees on our left hand side here bank it left you can see a sort of green line you can follow and then we're looking for a gap just on the right hand side of the sandy path I'm going to go on the right hand side one here this is the wider one bank it over look for that gap drop it down if you can then now slightly different route turn right another drop down through the trees then bang forward for the runway turn left head back towards the shed and that's a lap of what I call the Shoreham Raceway and it really does help on if you're trying to tune out a helicopter or you're trying a different helicopter to have one place that you know you can fly quite well at I'm not going to say that was great flying but uh, it it knocks home to things like the MD with the nose pitching up in fast forward flight I had real trouble holding it on so we go round down past the green dome hammer it left lots of left pedal drop down if you can trying to keep the speed up then out over the sandy area um, if you've got a favorite place where you race or you, you fly around to test stuff out maybe post it in the comments because um, you know I'm used to this one I've done it now for nearly a year and uh, done it with every type of helicopter so it is handy to know but there's probably better ones around with the trees and the way the layout of the trees is so we can drop down and duck and dive and um, do post it if you've got a better one and I'd also like to just say thank you again for watching thank you if you've hit that subscribe button I really do appreciate it and thank you to all the guys who are working on the MD500 we're going to end up with something that is really going to push Dream for an air version I think to the limit so just leaves me to say thank you very much and thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon